Good morning, everyone. I'll give everyone a few more minutes to get logged on. Um, but welcome to the class of 2020. This is your exclusive workout to kick off the new year. Um, we have Ellen Zhang with us today. You may recognize her from teaching at Recwell. Um, she is a class of 2020 grad, and she's also still on campus working on her master's degree at the Smith School. Um, so this morning, what's well, going to be pretty casual, but it's going to be a great workout. Um, just a reminder to keep yourselves on mute the whole time so we don't get any feedback. We won't be playing music over the Zoom um, just to do some copyright issues. Um, but if you want to play something in the background, feel free to have your Spotify open kind of over top of the Zoom. I'll throw a playlist link in the chat as well if you need ideas. Um, other than that, this event will be recorded, um, but your faces will not be in the recording. So feel free to throw your camera on if you'd like, and you can watch this video at any time. We'll send the link out in a day or so. Um, so without further ado, I'll turn it over to you, Ellen. Thank you, Mary. Hi, Terps, how are you? Happy Tuesday. I know it's early in the morning, but you guys made it. Just by being here, you should be so proud of yourself. And my name is Ellen. Um, as Mary said, I graduated getting my undergrad last year at um, Smith School. And then now I'm doing a master's degree um, at Smith as well. So um, I'm a certified last mode instructor um, at Epley. So I usually teach classes twice um, per week. And then for today's workout, it will be a um, around 45 minutes um, full body circuit with a focus with, on your core. So we're gonna get started. And first I'm gonna introduce some equipment, what you need to do, uh, what, you, what you need is just a mat, if you have one, happen to have one at home, if not, um, doing on top of um, carpet is totally fine, or if you don't mind hard force, it's okay. And then you can just like do the movement slowly. And then I want these your system bands, uh, if you happen to have one, if it don't, it's totally okay. And then, um, cause I'm just, um, I'm gonna introduce this option and then still will stick with the no equipment demo. And then most important, you're gonna need your water bottle. We're always gonna keep hydrated at all times. And then there will be breaks built in between um, today's workout. So feel free to just grab a sip of water if you need to, or if you want to um, take a short break, feel free to do so. And since it's um, a virtual environment, I can't see you. So um, it's all your workouts and I'd like all of you to push yourself and then we're gonna have some fun this morning. Get your body moving. And as Mary mentioned, um, we, we, we're not doing any like background music for today. And this is, I think it's an option, option choice for all of you to just put on any music you like, your favorite workout music. And then with that, let's get started. I'm gonna turn on my timer. So the first, we're gonna um, walk through some warm up and then after that, we're gonna focus on our upper body strength exercise and then strengthen our lower body as well. And then we do a quick finisher with some hit exercise and then at the end we'll finish up with our core series and some stretches. So here's the whole um, walk through of the workout so you have a general idea. And let's get started. The first exercise we're gonna do is a walk down. So you're gonna stand up tall first, and then you're gonna lift both the arms up and the hinge from your hip. And then walk, so you walk the fingers out one arm at a time, and then go to plank position, pose for a second. So notice your body should be a straight line, and then you're gonna push it back. And then roll up one vertebrae at a time to a um, standing position. All right, let's hit it. Hinge from the hip and then walk to your hands out to high plank position and then lift from the hip. So hips towards the ceiling and then roll your body up. You don't have to do it quick because this is just uh, warmed up. We have two minutes here. Mm -hmm. 
the hinge is so important because okay, so we are activating the back of our muscles and then the back of our legs as well. And the plank helps to activate our arms and our chests. Make sure you're spreading your weight evenly when you're in the plank. We've got 30 seconds left here. Let's keep going. Make sure you extend your arms as it goes up. And remember to breathe. Everything's nice and control. 10 seconds left. You're getting warm. All right. The next exercise you're gonna have is a up dog to down dog. So you're gonna start from a down dog position. So push your hip towards the ceiling and push from your wrist. And then you're gonna do a rolling plank to your up dog. So knees off the floor, and then you're gonna lift your hip towards the ceiling again. I'm gonna do this rolling plank to activate your spine. For people, if you would like, you can also do some cat cow. <clears throat> so inhale, round your spine, and exhale, go to drop your cat. And then this also weight of your spine. Really push your hip towards the ceiling. This is so important. Your spine, a lot of abs going up. Give me a couple more. We got 20 seconds left here. That's 10 seconds. You got it. Bring the heat to your body. All right, the next exercise, we're gonna start from standing up tall and then we're gonna do a lunges. So your front leg's gonna step forward and the back arm's gonna press onto the mat and then you're gonna open up your body to the front. Extend the front arm towards ceiling. And then arms down and then you push your legs back to standing position. And then we switch to the other side. Feel the stretches from your thigh, from your arm, really lift and opens up your heart towards the ceiling. Get some nice fresh air in early in the morning. I like to do these um, arm stretches when I'm free anytime because it doesn't take up a lot of space. And then the stretch from the spine Inside the body is so beautiful, especially when people are sitting for a long time and people are working at home and then it's good, beautiful stretches. Doesn't take a lot of effort. Do it as slow as you want to and then really extend. With 10 seconds here. You got it, come on. Five seconds. And one more. All right, push back. All right, the next one we're gonna do is a short glute activation. I think glute activation is super cool when you're doing, uh, you can cover it in your Wanda. And then you, at first you don't see um, how beautiful it is, but after, you start your glute exercise, your lower body exercise to see how it prepares you for those strength training. So, 
let's hit it. So we're gonna have three good active exercise on one side, and then we're gonna focus on one side first, so pick a side, and then we're gonna change to the other. So the first one is a flat high grade. You're gonna start from the tabletop position, and then you're gonna bring your knees towards your side. So on the same level as the hip, just open it up. Hands underneath your shoulder, knees underneath your hip. Opens up to your side and tap lightly for each rep. If you want more challenge, check out that tap. The next one we're gonna have is a donkey kick. So you're gonna lift your legs up and then maintain the beautiful 90 degree angle and just kick it up. Three inches movement, tiny movement. But remember, to really squeeze your glute, you feel it, your left side already. We've got 15 seconds here. Let's keep going. After this, we have one more. That's gonna be our knee circles. And then you're gonna use your knee as a pan and then draw a circle on the side. Draw big, beautiful circle, and we have 30 seconds here. 10 down, 20 seconds left. We got it. Come on. Really activate our glutes. Help it to get warm. Last three, two, one. All right, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, five seconds to transit, and then by high jump. Lift it up to the side, and spread your weight evenly in between your hands to keep your stability. So your legs is the only thing that's moving. And remember to squeeze your glute, raise your abs. About three, two, one. Donkey kicks. You got five. Let's go. Just pick it up. Your back should be very flat. So if someone puts and drains um, a plate of food on top of the back, they should stay there for the whole time. Tiny movement, every move with control. And remember to breathe. Three, two, one. All right, knee circle. Start in three, two, one. No rest here. This is our last exercise for the glute activation. And then we jump into our upper body strength series. 20 seconds left. You got it. I know glutes burning is a good sign. It means we're getting warm. That's one. All right. Feel free to shake it up and then we get ready for our upper body strength training. Shake your legs, shake your arms. And then for the next exercise, so we're gonna have um, the four exercise in the upper body strength training and then we're gonna repeat it for twice. So the first exercise we're gonna do will be a arm circle. So you're gonna, um, you can do it from kneeling position or you can stand. And then you can just um, make your arms do some small forward circles. And then I ask you to go backward halfway, let's go. And straight and then really maintain the strength in your arms. Feel your hope as if holding some sort of weight. So we are activating our arms, make our joint moving. All right, backward. If you 
better do it at home, then you can always hold some light weights like a water bottle on each side or something, and that adds more resistance. All right. Next exercise, you're gonna set up your arms um, right next to your ears, and then you're gonna close up your elbows together, so like this, shoulder gaiters. We're gonna do it for another 45 seconds. Yeah. These exercises are around like 45 seconds long and then we got 15 seconds rest to transfer to the next one. So do each rest slowly and then find the full range of movement. Bring the elbows together and open up so your chest just stays into the front. Your back's flat and straight. 20 seconds left. You got it. All right, next we're gonna come down to the floor and do our one of our favorites. So push-ups. You can do it from your knees or you can do it from your toes. We've got 45 seconds here. Okay, arms ready, let's go. Really push, push your body up. And one more challenge, tuck your toes. Before I got my dumbbells at home, this is one of my favorite um, body weight exercise. It, it can actually keep you the like good shape, work your arms hard. I will space into the back. The three. Two, one. All right, shake it up. The next one, we're gonna set up a high plate position, hands underneath the shoulder, and then we're gonna tap the hands with opposite shoulders. So right hand to left shoulder, left hand to right shoulders. Get ready, let's go. You can widen the stand up your legs, so it gives you more stability. Remember, the arms is the only thing that's moving. Try to keep the stability of your whole body, your legs, and the core. The core is your stabilizer here. So use it. Great job, guys. You have 10 seconds left. One down. All right, shake it up. We got one minute. Short break. So I'll shake it up. Grab a sip of water if you need to. And then we'll come back and do it together as a team. It's early in the morning. It's always great. Um, let's get up early, do some quick exercise, get the blood flowing, and get ready for today's work. 30 seconds. We'll walk around, grab a sip of water. Then we'll come back. And let's get set up. So our first exercise. This is the second round you're doing this, so it should be very familiar with the moves. Challenge yourself. So, arm circles. Let's go. Really straighten your arms as if you're holding weight. If you're holding weight, you can keep your elbows bended a little bit to protect your elbow. That were circles. Really feel the squeeze of your shoulder blades together. That's five, four, three, two, one. All right, the next exercise, shoulder gaiters. Set up your hands right next.
next 10 years. And then you're gonna bring the elbows in and open your chest up. Let's go. 45 seconds on. You're gonna make every second work. So you're gonna take up 100% of yourself and push yourself a little bit harder. We don't want the easiest workouts because we always want to challenge ourselves. You got it. 15 seconds. Hang on there. It's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then we come down to the floor. Remember what's our favorite? Push ups. Get set. Right. Let's start in three, two, one. Let's go. If you want to work on your triceps, you can bring the elbows as close as your um, as close to your rib cage as possible. So your elbow will be facing to the back, and it works on your tricep. Now we squeeze your glutes. As we're doing these exercises, we're not just working on our upper body, not just on shoulders and arms, but also your core. So brace your core at all times. Last five, four, three, two, one. Got it. Give more and more. All right, shake it up. And then we'll go back to our high plank position, high plank shoulder tap. And this time, we're going to challenge ourselves. We're going to do faster, okay? The set, hands on the knee, shoulder, and start tapping. Find your own speed, find your own rhythm. Right, left, right, left. And try to Try not to rotate your hip that much, so only your arms moving. Almost there. And pay attention to hip position. Don't lift your hip high like this. You're not doing the down dog. That's three, two, one. All right, shake it up. I'm gonna have a quick um, a minute to short break as I'm demoing the next move. And the next one, we're going to focus on our lower body, our legs, and then our thighs. And then what we're going to do, we're going to have some um, wide squat and narrow squat and then some side lunges. And also, we're going to um, really boost our heart rate up and finish up with some cardio. And same as the previous exercise, we're going to have four exercises, small exercises in this circuit and then we're gonna repeat it twice. So grab a sip of water. Everybody all good? You guys doing great? Because you look amazing. So for the first move, the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna start from a standing position and you're gonna do a narrow squat. And pay attention to your knees. Your knees should not go over your toes in order to protect your knees, keep them safe. And then you're gonna do a sumo squat, knees out, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna switch to the other side. And then for the next move we're gonna do would be a side lunge. So you're gonna go to the side and then it's also a great hip opener as well. And then use your body to drive up your knee, knees towards your chest. And then we're gonna do one side at first. I'm gonna switch halfway. I'll remind you the time to switch. And let's get started for our narrow squat and wide squat. Got it. 
you're 15% done for today's workout. So, you should be proud of yourself. We'll lower down. We're not looking for speed here. Everything should be controlled for every move. Okay, imagine there's a chair in the back and you're sitting on this invisible chair. I like to keep my hands in front of my chest to keep my stability. You can also extend them to the front. Give me one more. All right, side lunges. Start in 10 seconds. The key here is find your range of movement. Then step to the side, hold for a second, and drive the knee up. Let's go. Pick a side. You got it. It's also a great exercise for hip as well, as it keeps our lateral stability. All right, let's switch. Drive it up for each rep. Pay attention to the forms. We're looking for the best form. All right, shake it up. The next exercise we have will be a single leg that lifts, so you're gonna stand on one side, and then hinge from the hip like we did in the warm up, and extend both the arms out, and legs out, and let's come back. You can lightly tap, or you can take out the tap if you don't want it. One more challenge. Really hinge the hip, extend the body. And imagine you're holding a towel. Really extend from the body. Now we're gonna switch to the other leg. Keep the band in the standing legs and you feel a burn almost instantaneously. And flex your toes as you go out and bring it in. All right, the next one we have will be a shovel to side tap if you have enough space. So I'm gonna be shuffle, tap, or, or you're gonna have, if you don't have enough space, totally fine. You can do a squat jump. Jump, jump. Right, let's boost up our heart rate, and let's go. When you're doing the shuffle, maintain your level. So I want you to touch down on the floor, of each rep. So you're keeping the squat the same level. And then you can also do squat jump. Got it, 15 seconds. Short break's coming. Think about the car rep you're doing. You're doing great. A three, two, one. Check it up. You know what's coming. We're gonna repeat everything again. And you already know the moves. I'm sure we can all ace it together. Grab some water. We'll get back to it. I know people got mixed opinions of like having um, full body exercise, squeeze it in 45 minutes, or do I just focus on one or two, hard body? They all got their opinions, and then the answer is listen to your body. All right, we got five seconds to come back to our narrow squat and wide squat. Use this as your time to catch your breath. Listening to 
your body is so important. It tells you what you need. Sometimes, like if people really feel, oh, they're so tired, then maybe low intensity workout might be a good option. Go out for a short walk. You don't have to do hits for every day. <clears throat> Just find the best plan for yourself, and then that's the best. All right, side lunges. Shake it up. And go to the side and drive it up. Start in three, two, one. Pay attention to your chest. Your chest should be still facing forward. So don't lean towards your knee like that. Gotta maintain a beautiful, nice position. One more on this side and then I'm gonna switch. Start up your knee, touching your chest. And one more. All right. Next one, the hinge from the hip, single leg deadlift. This, consider this as a downtime to train our stability. Pick a side, and then we're gonna hinge the hip. And go forward, legs back. So body should be a straight line. Sometimes I like to do this movement with um, some sort of lightweight as well. For people who are just new to stability, you can tap your foot each time after hitch wrap. A switch side. You know, extend and bring in. Okay, one more. You did it. All right, our last exercise for this lower body circuit. Any type, you can do a shuffle to tap or jump squat. Let's get started. Use your arm to drive up your body. You can do a shovel. If you have enough space. Twenty seconds left. You're halfway done. You gotta push yourself. You've gone so far. You don't want to give up at this moment. That's nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo, shake it up. Catch your breath, Let's take a deep breath, and then uh, have some water if you need to. Do your heart rate up, and then, woo, now you're burning. Beautiful burn for the lower body. Good to incorporate some sort of hip exercise in between different moves. And then um, I like to focus on a little bit of stability as well because it's mm, easily being forgotten by a lot of people. And then some people thought like, okay, they're strong on one side and then they could just keep training on one side and then just let the other behind them. I think stability Training is a good practice to really keep up and see, okay, I'm better in my right side and then now I can spend more time focusing on the left side as well. And don't leave it behind. And then the next one, really take your time, catch your breath when we have our finisher. We're gonna do two minutes, one minute each for each exercise. And we're gonna do it like we are playing the game. And so the first one we um, need to do is a fast feet to a burpee. So when I said down, and then you should 
come down to both your arms and then you can walk the feet back, walk it back. This is low intensity version. You can jump or take out a jump if you want to do just the simple burpee. Or you can drop down and then hop both the feet back. Um, the push up this option and then the jump it back and then give me a hop. So this is our game. And then the first one will be a minute. Um, actually 45 seconds, because we have 15 seconds to transit. And then the next one will be, we're doing from a high knee position. And then on the side draws, and then you still go back to the burpee. So still take the burpees you want. The options you have, you can take out the jumps, you can walk it back, and then you can do the push-ups or take it out. You can um, get me a hop at the end. A tough job, maybe if you are energetic for today's workout. And yeah, everybody good with what we're gonna do? And then we get started. Catch your breath. It's gonna be fun. It's easier than you thought. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start in three, two, one, fast feet. Uh, out and in. Keep your body to lean forward, down. And then you come back to fast feet, down. This is also the reaction training, down. Not just hit, it trains the reaction as well. So you focus on the speed, reaction, and strength, down. Come back as fast as you can. Down. All right. 15 seconds rest. Catch your breath. You did amazing. This is fun, isn't it? Set your feet. High knees. Let's go. Bring your knees as high as possible. Close your chest. Mat. All right, 
Alternate toe tap, let's go. Tap slowly, have it right with control. This helps us to activate our lower abs. For more challenge, walk the feet out a little bit more and then you feel in your lower abs. Press your lower back towards the mat. We got 15 seconds here. This is relaxing for today's exercise. Catch your breath. Last three, two, one. All right, the next exercise we have is a death row. So the knee is gonna be at the same position, but this time arms up, and then you're gonna extend your front leg and back arm, and then we're gonna switch. Keep the arms straight, and every move with control. Flex your feet as you go down, and this adds to your core resistance. Do every move slowly with control. Use your breath. Inhale as you go down, exhale as you come in. You got it. Got 10 seconds left. You look great. All right, lower it down, shake it up. And this exercise we have, um, we'll still be laying down on the floor. And then you're gonna lift your head up towards the ceiling and your front legs up. You're gonna move three pulses and we alternate. You got it, small pulses. It works on that posterior chain. Worms at the back. Got it. Press your shoulder down. Open your chest up. Almost there. Give me one more. All right, lower down. And then other this, we have a cross crawl. So set up knees above the hip, and then you're gonna rotate the elbows, and then rotate them the center of the trunk. Elbows touch opposite knee, and you're gonna extend your left out at the same time. Real lift your shoulders up. Raise your core. You're looking for control here. Got it. And now abs burning. It's our last trap of today. Last round, best round. Let's push ourselves, push harder. It's stronger than you thought. Give me one more. Now we're done. The next one here, we're gonna sit up, we're gonna do a Russian twist. So we're gonna do an extend both the arms and then if you have a band or something, you can hold your band like this and then really push and find some tension um, for people who have like a towel that also works as well. And then you're gonna extend both the arms, go to the front and then back. And your legs can be down on the mat or if you just wanna challenge the lower abs, lift it up. Get it in five seconds. Get sets ready. Remember each option. Your back is tilted back. If you have no equipment, it's totally fine. Like what I'm doing, you're gonna make a fist. And then that adds up to resistance as well. Go to the back, a little bit more, you can. Challenge yourself. You got a beautiful waistline. 
really rotate. Body's leaning back. Got five seconds here. Last one. Woo, shake it up. So the last exercise we have for today will be a small challenge. So a minute of hover hold. So you're gonna set up, you have a, um, you have your forearms down on the mat, and then you should be right on your shoulder, and then your knee, you can do it for your knee. So knees down on the mat, or you can tuck your toes, one more challenge. So you're gonna brace your abs the same time, and then we're gonna stay here for a minute. It's very short, trust me. You can always push yourself a little bit harder. This is our last exercise, and you got it. Let's get set, ready. Your body should be a straight line. One minute, clocks on. So, beautiful thought. Talk to yourself. Focus on your music. It will definitely help a lot. Just don't think about you are doing a hover or a plank right now. Think about this is the last one you gotta do. And always you have the option to lower down to knee. Just hold here, take away some of your attention, but don't give up. You got 20 seconds here. <clears throat> Weight on the forearm, brace your core. You got it. You look beautiful and strong. Ooh, last 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, hold it there. Five, four, Three, two, one. Knees down. Woo! Now let's go back to a child's pose and release some tension in the back. You're gonna start stretching. You can sit your butt back towards your heel and the knees can be as wide or as narrow as you want. Find your comfortable position and then walk your fingers out. One inch at a time, add some small micro movement, then push it back. Really shake the arms because you did it for that minute of hard hold. You definitely cued it and you made it, and then now we're gonna stretch. Let's cross our arms, for the side arm stretch. Definitely grab water, get hydrated after today's workout, and then, yep, we all need water. All right, let's switch sides. When we're doing these static stretches, remember to breathe at all times because our system, the body, needs oxygen to operate to work, and then the brain and oxygen, we can help our muscles to relax, to breathe. All right, shake it up. And let's bring our elbows up, right next to the ears, and I'm gonna stretch our tricep. Let's, let's shake it up, and then we're gonna switch side. And then we're gonna cross our fingers behind our back. And then we're gonna extend, so slowly bring it up so you feel it to your shoulder blades squeeze together. Nice shoulder stretch. Some of these stretches, I would um, sometimes like do it in between my classes, my work as well, okay, so when you have to, um, at home and then at your home office. You can just do some of these stretches in between and then it really takes away the tension from the neck, from your shoulders. And small moves, big help. Now let's go up to standing and then we're gonna bring our heel towards our butt and then we're gonna stretch our quad. Option, you can hold on to some furniture or the wall to keep your stability. 
Tap on breathe. You can feel different sometimes, like let's switch to the side, to the other side. You feel different after you finish on um, some stability training, then you just feel it's easier to maybe like stand on one side and then when you walk, when you're jumping, everything comes easier. So stabilizers working and then you're keeping our stability. All right, let's shake it up. And then let's come back to what we did in our warmed up. Go to my favorite down jump movement and really stretch and go to this rolling plank doing for two, three times. Really relax the back. And then we're gonna hold in downward facing dog and then press from your wrist. You're gonna slowly walk your hands back one at a time until it touch your toes. And then you're gonna slowly roll your body up until you come to the standing position. Now shake it all up. You did it. You did wonderful today. And then I'm so happy, so excited that uh, you can join me for today's short workout. I know we ran out of time for a little bit, but definitely give yourself a round of applause because you definitely did it. And then it's great to see you here and I really appreciate this opportunity. So thank you. And then I'll turn it over to Mary. Yes, thank you everyone. So like I said, I'll send out this recording in about a day or so. If you guys have any questions or you wanna learn more about the Alumni Association, or want to know about the fun events that we have planned for the spring, feel free just to reply to that email and I'll get you helped out. Other than that, have a great rest of your day, everyone. Thanks, Ellen. Thank you. Go Terps. <laughs> Go Terps. Bye, all.